We now return to Let's Play Conan Exiles. Okay, as you can see, I've cleared out the little hut here and turned it into sort of an alchemy area. Um, let's see. I've unlocked some stuff in the Battle Pass, so let's go look at it. Alright, so we've got ourselves a new colored wall torch. A new bear paw paint. As soon as I can make some paint and some more... As soon as I can make some paint, I might actually want to start using some of those sigils. Also, another thing. Uh, normally I don't look at the bazaar, because this is just more stuff to spend money on, just nickel and diming. Um, but today, this Illusion Scroll Kitan Captain was zero Chrom Coins. It was free. So, I got it, and it gave me a bunch of Illusion pieces. However, these are, because they're free, uh, one time use, this character only, I'll never get him again, kind of thing. Um, which is really crummy. But, you know, uh, again, it's to entice you to spend money. But, like, you know, if you're going to do that, just, just put it as part of this. Why, why hide stuff in here? I guess just to get you to look so you can get the free stuff, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I have moved all of the stuff. It's a little bit cattywampus because it is aligned to terrain so it's all over the place but uh, anyway we're ready to go um, I've also taken out the horses I now have a black horse named shadow and a white horse named moonbeam uh, and the undead horse here now actually can move because I am of weight limit so we'll go do that oh we're leveled up already good the first levels are pretty easy to get because uh, all you gotta do is just gallop around. So, I decided not to complete the inside of this building. Mostly because we'll be back here anyway, and uh, so I figure we'll just go ahead and get on with the game. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna come over to Sepermaru... 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 Sepermaru. Um, I was gonna come through this way, but we'll just go around the long way because there's something I think right there that I might be able to look at, and then we can come down this way on it to the north. So, I hold silver, let's go. Now, we're going to leave behind my guys here. They will spawn, so I just have to hope they don't get caught up in a fight. Travel fast. So the horse does have stamina. Let it catch back up. That will grow over time. The the horses actually do well you know what, let me Alright. Let us fight. Oh. Once again did a bad thing. So what I've noticed, um, 1.5. There we go. What I've noticed about the challenges is that sometimes you'll see a little multiplier up in here, but it seems like every day you get the first three challenges with their own bonus multiplier. Um, so basically what this means is that every day you can get at least two levels in this. So if you're logging in every day, uh, you can get that maximum battle pass. So I guess in that regard it is worth it, but uh, there's probably going to come a time when I don't log in and I'm going to miss out on, on stuff, but whatever. Oh yeah, I didn't mention, so I, I had leavening, right, in my inventory. Um, and it's right here. It's, well, I mean, th there's more, but this is what it looks like. You need this for pretty much any brewing, uh, especially ales and whatnot, but it is a common ingredient while it's making those. So, let's see. We have, we've got a ways to go, don't we? we got to go around that lake. I could just take a shortcut through. Actually, I could take a shortcut through there. It doesn't matter, though, because I actually want to go there. I actually want to go to that place. That is a location. Just ride the undead horse. So I want 
the saddle, the savage saddle that'll have like the skeletor looking. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, the the armor, but it's gonna require hardened leather, and hardened leather requires alchemical base. And if I can't find alchemical base, I'm going to need. Well, I think I might be able to make it back at the alchemist bench. I do have a, an Alchemist 3, so it might be able to make it, but I cannot make it on my own. I don't know if this triggers... Oh, we already triggered that location. Never mind. Continue on. Ride right past the bear. We're heading towards some towers. That, uh... We'll look at when we come back. Please don't get caught up on this. As we go right through the boars. Right, we might be getting a little bit cold. Yeah, there's some lotus there. Um, I can't remember. I think there might actually be something at the bottom of this lake. I'm gonna pop out real quick here. I'm gonna tell you all guys to just stop following me for a minute. Okay, well, there's a location here. heard it. I think we might have another situation where this guy gets shot again. Nope. Keep posing. You're gonna have to go faster. I don't have that kind of breath. sliding stone was a mechanism for a treasure chest. Makes me wonder about uh, that, that cliffside now, if there was a hidden treasure chest that showed up. Boy, that was dumb of me. I'll use this weak one. So I did, before we left, I did make some uh, some aloe, or uh, aloe extract. Yeah. Better Better potions. Anyway. Oh, oh, whoops. Right. Okay. So we gotta go around just a little bit. Let's see if I can get there through the mountain. So, oh boy, don't, don't, oh boy. All right, well, never mind. Um, another way to, there are bear cubs. Uh, boy, stealing some bear cubs and raising some battle bears would be fun. See if we can do this before parents come and get me. There's one. There's one. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't aggro the other one. The other one looks like it might be an elite. All 
right. Well, let's uh, skin it in front of the child I have in my pocket. Why not? Just to get the head. Um, don't need that. Oh god. I could use that to feed it when we get it. Then, uh, no, no, let's not be that grim about it. But I think I might be able to get some actual bear skin. I did. Good. Um, I think there are very specific instances where I would be able to use bear pelt. I think it makes some armor. Okay. Let's come back, come back, come back, come back. Out of the way, please. I think I scared the other baby bears. It did. The other baby bears are running off. Okay. Well. Let me put them on you. Just sling it in the saddlebags here. Unfortunately, that does not count for encumbrance. It's not like Ark, where you have a combined weight limit. We do have to be careful over here because we're kind of approaching an area that is not friendly to. Well, I mean, it might be to my level, actually. When you consider the core game uh, end level is level 60, everything is sort of geared toward that, so. Sir, can wait here a moment. No, no, you can't. Where? Okay, you can wait there then. Yeah, these guys might be a little bit mean. They might have. Hardened weaponry, but if they do, I might be able to steal it off of them. Oh, we're getting corruption here. Okay, is this a new place that they co opted for that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Everybody's pissed. We need that for a few things. Let's put you there. Now it says I'm gaining corruption, but I don't see any in my bar there. they turn this into a dungeon? I don't remember. Rachnus's journal, number five. Hello, fellow traveler. I am Rachnus, ultimate warrior and conqueror of the world, legend of the sword and blade master of the gods. This place is too hot. I will travel north tomorrow, towards the settlement I see in the distance. There, I will make everyone bow to my fists. Come on, then. I wonder if the corruption is from... I think it's from fighting them, actually. You know what? I need some bones. Boy, here they come. Stop doing that and actually, actually block my uh, my healing. Doesn't seem to be doing so well. The passive healing. Oh shit! There's another one. 
God damn, there's four of them. This is a good thing, I guess. Uh, the reason I was going to take the bone was so that I could repair this stupid thing, finally. God damn! I hope they don't respawn by the time we get here. We're going to have to run like hell when we get out. Why don't I also eat and drink a meal here? What are you guys making noise for? What are you guys doing? Jesus. Freaking me out. Is this just a treasure room? I guess it's a treasure room. I must have a key, damn it. Well, you'd think there'd be like a boss in this room or something I could fight for that key. But I imagine that's a skeleton key chest. It's possible that key is actually something we get from another location, like the other dungeon up here. The only key that I know of is into a world boss chamber, though. To get one of the pieces for removing the bracelet. It's okay, though. I'll take the gold and silver. That will be useful for making, uh... Oh, well, chemical stuff, but once we get to Sepermeru, that's not going to be an issue. So. One thing that I wish they would do is tie the mount movement to the mouse instead of keyboard only. Make it much easier to move around. There's a horse. What are those? Yeah, they really need to work on the animation there. What are those? Wolves? I guess those are wolves. Where are we? Okay, yeah, so we just gotta go right through there. me, Elk King. Is it there? I guess it's there. Hey. So one thing I could do is try a little bit of combat on horseback and, uh, That would gain me experience when you run into people, well, when you run into things and kill them, I guess, the horse will also gain experience. Is just a jump scare? Is there something hidden up there? It's possible there's actually something hidden right there. for a little bit. 
bit. Got really. Got to be careful too, though, because there is another white tiger up here somewhere. Might just be climbing over nothing. But you never know. Actually up there. I don't think that's anything, to be honest with you. We're already up here, though. I may as well keep climbing. It's going to be a long way down. It'd be cool if there was something this far up. There's only one other place. Hmm, yeah, that's just a graphical thing. There might be something all the way up there, but let's not worry about it. There's only one place that I know that it's the tallest point in the game that if you climb it, you get climbing gear! I do wish they had. Nope, that is a lion. There's a lion. We will try to avoid that. Maybe, uh, the white lion might have gotten re replaced by the tiger, or the white tiger might have gotten replaced by the lion. There are lion cubs there, though. If I swooped in, I could get one. Also have to be careful not to run into the curse wall by accident. It's getting dark as well. All right, where the hell am I? So I don't want to go around there necessarily because here we will find another insect hive and queen. It's going to be an oasis we can go through though. Perhaps. I am orienting myself towards the damn curse wall in the desert. You can see, well, sort of, yeah, the green glow of the curse wall over there. Ground Grove, okay. We still have to be careful because there is, again, um, a batch of very difficult NPCs. Really? Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. Uh, very difficult NPCs, I believe, right over there. Uh, slave takers. which would be very powerful if I could stun them and make them my allies. But uh, I don't think this group right now that I'm with could handle it, to be honest. God damn these guys. You're going to get aggroed on me. Of course you are. There you go. Gotta be careful not to fall off here. I wish. Oasis of Neket. Wish the night time would go away. So this is not a bad place either. Okay, there's the insects. And the insect queen. And... I might be able to bypass that if we go down here. There should be also... Uh, more of the shale backs. 
And in fact, this is another location over here in these oases where you can find another king, Shale ba oh boy. Shale back. Um, they fulfill that monster uh, head quest. That's more like it. All right. We can avoid the shield wax. Well, that one's going to come running. This, this ridge right here, is where I want to build the base that will be here, uh, in this area of the world. We're not going to do that just yet, because we just went through two episodes of me building bases, but it's a pretty good place. And there's at least one district of Sepermeru. Now this area here is going to be dangerous. This is where the sandstorm will originate. So if we end up in the middle of a sandstorm today, which I haven't yet on camera, um, but if we do, it'll be right here and I won't have much time to prepare. But luckily I do have the uh, sand mask. Okay, so yeah, like this is a pretty good place for defense and it's very big, so it's, it's good for a sprawling. Um, base. As far as resources, not so much. Um, but it makes up for it because you can just go over to the city here and loot a bunch of chests. So let's skirt around here. Bypass gates for a minute. And this is a location, believe it or not, where people are actually chill. As long as, well, some of them. There, there are actually, like, thieves and whatnot. Um, but uh, we can actually come in here and the NPCs won't bother me. So, uh, to read the part where I've already been... Visit Sepermeru. You found Sepermeru, and the rumors were true. The inhabitants did not attack you at first sight. You found a cure for perhaps one of the greatest threats of the exiled lands, loneliness. I don't remember what the actual text said. But uh, all over the place, we can just run up here and find chests. Chests with tons of stuff in it, including obsidian. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty good place to exploit, actually. Um... Got one of every NPC, except for the, the priests of uh, the other religions besides Set. So if you really want to risk getting into a fight with the NPCs, uh, you can go ahead and capture to your heart's content. Bunch of chests there. So yeah, this would have been the easy way to get through and. Uh, get my leather and steel and whatnot. Because you, you can just come along the outside here. I have to go through here, but you can come along the outside of the city and make your way here. Now what I'm looking for is this right here. I am ready. Jakad's people were skeptical when I first stumbled into their city, but they knew his name. And then Shemites, my countrymen Familiar faces. Some recognized my face, but I quieted them with a glance. It has been good for me to be here. I have been able to rest and relax. The exiled lands are a fearsome place, but the people here have managed to build something. I have spoken with men who have been here for a score of years. 
They told me of the purge, when soldiers ride through the land, slaying and pillaging. They have told me of the sandstorms that arise with such fury out of nowhere, and disappear just as quickly. I told them of the vision I had in the ruined city, of the room nestling beneath the secret heart of the ruins, of the map which shows the land that traps us, of the gems which can free us all. They've agreed to send an expedition. I will lead them into the ruins, and then to freedom. I leave the last page of my journal here. My journey thus far has been one written. Action speaks louder than words. May we never meet again in the exiled lands. Rosma of Shem. Okay. They added that in the back, obviously, and it closed off this area. And here is where we would find ourselves some early priests, including named priests. I'll leave that for a minute. Um, another chest. Just loot. My heart's content here. And then this just opens straight up into an open area. But there are some stories here. Over here. So here's the harlot, and the harlot is the second, first journal, first journal. The old chieftain, rich that he is, lies dead. Wow. Wretch that he is, lies dying now, and I can do little to help, as I have no knowledge of the arcane arts or of medicine. My expertise in bedroom acrobatics will be of little use to the old fool. It might even bring him closer to the brink, if not push him over it completely. When he dies, I wonder what will become of me. Still, Shamil, his son, strong and is strong and not very intelligent. If I play my cards right, I may still have a safe haven here. I think I shall have to pay him a night visit to ease his weary mind and muscle. The thought of getting caught is enticing in itself, although the prospect of the wheel is less so. I shall have to be careful. So it's kind of unfortunate that the story starts way out here. Um, because our... F because our first... Uh, our first encounter is, is way over here. Uh, at number three. So... Well, I guess there's another one here. Carpenter. Okay. Well, while we're here, let us find out what the alchemist is looking at. This one? This one. Tectosa's Journal. Let these pages serve as a record of my attempts to civilize one of the degenerate brutes that haunts the southern reaches of the exiled lands. I, Tectosa, will train them to be the perfect thralls, stronger and more obedient than humans. Capturing the creature was difficult. Meat drenched in a sedative of my own design managed to fell the beast. My hands tremble as I write this. Imagine the possibilities. I attempted to show the creature how to surrender. As I held up my arms, it lunged at me and tore into the side of my face. If, for the price of an ear, I can create a constant source of these tireless thralls, then the sacrifice will be worth it. And then you have to find the other pages, which are not too far away. I just don't remember where they all are. That is five. That. Two. I've decided to keep the creature on a chain instead of a leash, and have fashioned a crude muzzle out of iron. Though the others call me a fool for this experiment, I am not such a fool as to give up my other ear. I approached the creature today, slowly at first, and then more assertively. It held out its arms and moved towards me. It wished to embrace me. It stepped toward I stepped towards it, and I'm correct about the incredible strength of these creatures, though the bear hug it gave me may have shattered a rib or two. But a man can heal. I have now given up on the creature surrendering freely to me. Perhaps bribery will work better. Uh, is that over here? Yes. My attempts at teaching the brute have not yet been fruitful, but my resolve remains strong. I cooked some gruel in order to entice the miserable wretch to grovel for food. It has not been fed for days. Damn near cost me my toes, it clawed at my feet. Clearly it prefers the taste of meat, but where the carrot will not work, the stick must be used. Today I attempted to communicate with the creature from a distance. I 
it may be chained to the wall and muzzled, but I wish to keep the precious few limbs that I have. I attempted to teach the creature directions by pointing. The creature responded by picking up a stro stone and throwing it with remarkable accuracy at my throat. That hurt quite a bit. And as you can see, we're also learning emotes from doing this as well. My fellow exiles do not seem to be supportive of my venture. Several chunks of meat have gone missing from the local storage shed, and a small group came to confront me about it. I was hoarse from yesterday's incident, but I explained the intent behind my experiment to the crowd, rather eloquently, if I do say so. They cheered and clapped vigorously and left. The creature, however, was less impressed, and took my moment of distraction to defecate on my doorstep. Which is, like, right there. Um, here... As I exited my house today, I slept on my doorstep. I did not have to examine the ground to know what caused this. I turned my head only to see the creature mimic the cheering and clapping from yesterday. Or from yesterday's event. I cannot deal with this today. I went back inside. I will give it one more attempt today. If today's attempt proves an un as unsuccessful as the others, I will have to get rid of the beast. I approached it with sword and shield, but it seemed disinterested in me. I poked and prodded it, but there was no re reaction except for what seemed to be a shrug. Perhaps I'd broken the beast after all? I turned and began to walk away. This proved to be a mistake as the beast kicked me in the back and sent me flying face first into the a nearby tree. The vomit-inducing worthless piss streak of a creature dies tomorrow. I, Tectosa, must confess that I have failed. The creature is unruly, uncouth, and unpleasant. To think that I thought it might have a good, made a good thrall... Ah, I have my shield, I have my sword, I am ready. I will wipe away my failure with blood. This may or may not be Tecto, so I have no idea. But it is dead. And now we have a bunch of new e emotes. Uh, let's go. So I'm going to try and keep these slightly shorter, not go the full hour, mostly because I am increasing the bitrate of the videos when I render them. Because uh, I noticed for like the first ten episodes, uh, it was really bad quality uh, in in the videos. It just, I mean, it doesn't look like that in the game. It's just because of the recording. So uh, that is exponentially increasing the size of the videos. However, so rather than upload a three gigabyte video, I don't know, just keep it shorter here. So uh, here, if we interact, is where we gain banners. And there's something else down here. Found Rosma's journal. Carpenters. Dancers. Alright. We will end today at the tavern then. But first, let's go find some treasure. Take that. Take that. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I told you guys to move, but... Okay. Um... So I don't think we can handle this right now, but there is a dungeon. Okay, you know what? You know what? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Guys, guys, come here. Gather around, everybody. Stop following. I want to show you this real quick. So... This door leads to a dungeon, but if we need an endless supply of gold and silver, it is actually very easy to attain, much like everything else in this city. Uh, I don't think it's up there, actually. Identify yourself. Okay, those are the those are the thugs. They will kill you. They will kill you pretty pretty dead. And uh, the NPCs of the city do not give a damn about that. And they are hard. Uh, well, okay. Interact with the chest. Take some gold. Uh, I mean, there's several chests like that, but the one specifically for gold and silver. I feel like there's another one up here somewhere. Maybe not. But we take a 
flying leap. And you want to stay underneath the water so that you cannot be attacked. that. So that's a lot of good gold, and if we go over, not there, if we go to here, Rhino Horn Ridge, we'll basically get an infinite supply of silver. Um, so we never have to worry about finding that, which is good, I guess. You guys are hanging out here. I uh, will be right back, because we're going to go into the tavern, and look who it is, Conan himself. So you Tell me, have you had a good chance to look around? Seen your fill of these exiled lands? <laughs> it's not too late to get back on that crucifix. Any fool can see that you need answers. Left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this place. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave you all to your fate. I don't have the stomach for sorcery. Give me a foe that I can strike with cold iron. Ah. I'll be here a while. As wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half weevil, but... I'm comfortable enough. If you have questions, ask. Which is a very weird thing to say because this is the only dialogue button we have here. There's no option for dialogue questions. I wandered for a while after I pulled you from that cross. In the south, I found desperate souls and Darfari man-eaters. In the east, apes that walked like men among the overgrown ruins of an ancient city. I found an amphitheater where the ancient dead walked and the memories of ancient battles stained the sand. It stank of sorcery. So I left. I have traveled far and seen much. From the glittering ice of Asgard to the jungle expanses of the Black Kingdoms. I have been thief, pirate, and mercenary. But nowhere have I seen gods as I see them in this land. These avatars that stalk and spread destruction in their wake. These are not gods. These are what men want gods to be. Weapons. What he's referring to there is that if we max out the uh, an altar um, and get a level 4... I think it's got to be a named thrall, actually. If we get a named priest, what we can do is convert some of our devotion into uh, an item that gives us an avatar. We can summon a god who will fight for a minute which sucks. <laughs> you, you used to be able to go into admin settings and set it for a maximum of two minutes, but apparently m people who do multiplayer complained that they were overpowered, and so they made it a hard set of 60 seconds, which is enough maybe to kill a dragon with. I could maybe do that, but I think the hard part is going to be finding a level 4 named thrall to put into the, the altar anyway. There is a woman. I freed her from the cross just as I did you. I followed her trail across the exiled lands. I missed her here by a scant few hours. She had left in search of a map room and a way to free herself from the exiled lands. Her trail ended in the map room. She was gone and all of her companions slaughtered. Listen. If you have news of Rasma of Shem, let me know. Yeah. So, uh, both Rasma and the staff hinted that we should be going to the map room in the Lost City. Ah, what do I know of sorcerers and their feuds? I do not dabble in the dark arts. But, whoever and whatever put you here is a wielder of the dark arts. 
You were like a wolf in a trap. You struggle to flee, and yet, in the end, it will kill you. Be smarter. Find out what they want, then hold it close. They will come for it. And then, your jaws are out their throat. <laughs> Just remember this. If you do succeed, if you do manage to find a way to remove your bracelet and leave the exiled lands, you will have to make a choice. Stay and be the hero of your own story. Or leave and risk losing it all. The choice will be yours. Choose wisely. Any fool can see that you need answers. Left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this I think we already went through this. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave. Yeah. Bye. Okay. And... Innkeeper's Ledger. By the gods, what was I thinking? I locked Zeth the drunk in the wine cellar. That's where all the drinks are. I'm ruined. Okay. Yeah, see, so here we see we could buy an iced tea for a silver coin. What crap. Like, it's really, really disappointing. New emotes. Oh, so I can actually pretend to converse, I guess. Yeah. Um, man, they really, they really screwed that one up. I better get out of here before the music gets copywritten. Um, just, uh, like, why, 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 why would they make that as the merchant mechanic in the game? It, it's not a mechanic at all. It sucks. I mean, it just, it doesn't do anything, you know? You can see the, uh, Pulsa Doom from the movie symbol being used here. But anyway, okay, well, I will, uh, end this one here. We have a few more sections I can go look through. Uh, I guess I guess I can do that. I think there's a few things to pick up. And then, I guess, I will... Well, we'll go over here. We'll pick up some silver. There's another dungeon right here. Um, but we're going to avoid that for now and go back home all the way here. Uh, because I... Must have deactivated that bed then. It's not showing it. Um, uh, because I've got stuff, and I need to pick up my tome of Kurok, uh, because I don't have it. I could go back into this tunnel. I'm sure it would respawn, and then I could pick up a tome to bring back to this base. But I think we'll just kind of roleplay it that uh, the sorcerer needs his tome, so I'll carry the tome around with me forever. But we need to go get it. And, like, the whole the whole reason we even went up north was for all of this fur so I could come down and, and uh, continue with the sorcery thing, which is the whole point of the series. You know, here we are, episode, what, 15? And, uh, yeah, not, uh, not keeping with the series. Now, if I want to look at everything, I mean, this is going to be a very long series. This is going to be a very long series because I haven't even looked at everything in just the Exiled Lands part. And then we've got to come up here and do all this stuff... And then all this stuff, and then the volcano, end game stuff. There's a couple other dungeons that have been added throughout. At this point, also, uh, Halloween might roll around. They might have another Halloween event going on, too. So we'll be here for a while. An hour at a time. I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.